operator precedence, public static void main string args. Okay. Now remember this is this space is where we uh, type a program. All right. So I'm gonna first print out something system dot out dot print line. I'm gonna print uh, <coughs> a basic arithmetic, uh, a basic arithmetic operation. So three plus nine. I'm gonna save this, of course, as. I'm going to save this and and then compile and run. Compile, you've seen the output window over here, and then run it, and you'll see that it gives me the result, 12. Well, that's a lot for a calculator, right? I mean, it's a lot to do for a calculator. We can have more things, so 9 times 8, right? So 3 plus 9, that's 12 times 8, that is 96, right? So save it, compile, and run. We said 86 and it's 75. What happened? What happened is that Java went, went ahead and multiplied 9 times 8, which is 72, and then added 3. Why didn't it do it the way that we thought it was going to do it? Or at least I lead you to think that it was going to do it. Well, it didn't because some operators are more important than others, or they take precedence. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So, when you are doing operations that require two numbers, those, so for example, plus is an operation that requires two numbers, right? So, you have one number plus another, you require two numbers. Those are called binary operations, okay? or binary, um, not operation, binary operators. The plus sign is a binary operator because it operates on two numbers. For the binary operators, multiplication, which is the asterisk, and division, which is this slash, take precedence. They are performed first, okay? And then plus and minus, okay? Now, um, so for example, if I want to know how many seconds are in a day, right? I'll say 24 hours, right? That times 60 minutes, right? Um, and that times 60 seconds. That is how many seconds are in a day, right? And then say, however many seconds are in a day, plus four. Why? That's just an operation that I came up with, okay? So the, the system's going to do this multiplication and then add the 4. And it really doesn't matter where I put the 4. Right? I can do this. 4 plus that. Right? And then, oh, you know, I'll save, I'll compile, I'll run. Compile is a, sometimes you get this message because it was running. The other program was running. So I can just do this. Okay. So then run run it gave me you know 86,000 seconds approximately now what I typed here before showing you see that that before we said hello and the computer printed hello now I'm saying this and the computer doesn't print this exactly it evaluates it and then prints it this is this is what's called an expression it doesn't have to have numbers but it's something that the computer evaluates and then prints when you say print hello, the computer actually tries to evaluate that, but it's just hello, it's just a word. So it prints the word. But now, with numbers, the computer can actually evaluate that and reduce it. Right? That's, that's an expression. Now, let's talk about uh, operator precedence. Now, what if I want to say, instead of 24 hours, you know, I want to actually do 4 plus 24, so 28 hours, how many seconds there are. What I do is I use parentheses. I use parentheses around it, okay? Parentheses around the 4 plus 24, and then that is performed first, and then the multiplications. So we save it and run it. And then it's a lot more, right? Because it's 28, okay? 
So you see the precedence here. So if I want to say, for example, <clears throat> 5 plus, um, I don't know, 5 plus 2 fits, okay, so it's 5 plus 2 fits. But what if I want to say 5 plus 2 over 5? Then I would put parentheses around here. That's 5 plus 2 over 5, okay? Or this is, you know, for example, 5 plus 2 or 2 over 5 minus 1. Okay, so that would be 5 plus 2 over 4, right? Which is 1 half. So that would be 5.5. Do that. We run it. And it gives me 5. Oh, okay. And it gives me 5. That's fine. Um, if I type 2.0, this is this is interesting because it'll lead us this this error. Look, if I put 2.0 there, look what's going to happen. Now I'll get my 5.5 here. You see, before I got just five. That leads us into variable types, which is the next discussion. But for ex for now, you should know that there are some operators that take precedence over others, and you can find this on the web or you can actually read it on the book. <clears throat>